On page 753 of the Schillinger system, a fascinating discussion begins concerning the axial relationships of the two melodies engaged in the counterpoint. Ideas encountered in the theory of melody are applied in more detail and depth to the independent voices of the counterpoint. First of all, various axial relations are listed and described in terms of balance and imbalance. Movement towards the picture axis is considered to be balancing and movement away unbalancing. There's also a balanced state which means movement along the pitch axis. The two melodies need to be controlled so that their balancing and unbalancing tendencies are harnessed to make either purposeful forward movement or the cessation of movement. In other words, balance achieved through a cadence. Of the examples shown here, the most cadential is the last, B over C axis which converge on a single pitch axis. Schillinger observes that variety of axial relations makes for interesting counterpoint, and too much of one kind of motion leads to monotony. It's important to think of melody in general terms, or middle ground scale. An axis might be a portion of a melody, possibly consisting of a number of notes moving in a direction relative to a pitch axis. So the axis becomes a middle ground unit of melody. If one melody, the cantus firmus, moves along an axis, then the other melody, the counterpoint, may traverse two or more axes in the same period of time. 